The new Tesla Roadster could be king of the supercars if it actually gets made. Imagine that it's 2008. You just saw Step Brothers, and you're driving home in your brand new Tesla Roadster, blasting low by Florida and T-Pain as you turn heads at every light. Look at you and your sporty new electric vehicle. Who knew they could be so cool? The original Tesla Roadster captured people's imaginations and offered consumers a glimpse into an all-electric future led by a fairly new U.S. automaker called Tesla. Over a decade later, the same company sits as the most valuable automaker in the world by market cap. The real star of the show was a surprise rollout of the second-generation Tesla Roadster, the anticipated follow-up to Tesla's first car. It's an attractive four-seat coupe with a removable target top that will cost at least $200,000 and achieve an alleged 620 miles on a full charge. If the specs are to be believed, it should blow the vast majority of internal combustion supercars on the market today out of the water in terms of performance. In fact, Musk is touting this as the fastest production car ever made, period. So far, the new Tesla Roadster comes in one single trim, although Musk shared that these specs were only the base model when Tesla unveiled the EV in 2017. The upcoming version of the new Roadster will utilize a tri-motor powertrain and could quite possibly feature new motor technology, Musk has recently teased. These motors will offer 10,000 m of torque. It's currently being advertised with a range of 620 miles. This number will be one to keep an eye on as the second-generation Roadster inches closer to production because Tesla's highest achieved range so far has been 405 miles on the refreshed Model S long range. Tesla previously promised 520 plus miles of range on the short-lived Model S Play Plus, but that trend was nixed because according to Musk, Tesla determined drivers don't need more than 400 miles of range. All but likely range aside, the new Tesla Roadster has the makings of a speed demon, quite possibly the fastest production car ever. With an advertised top speed of more than 250 miles per hour, this EV was initially announced to travel 0 to 60 miles per hour in 1.9 seconds and 0 to 100 miles per hour in 4.2 seconds. However, Musk shared an update this past, May teasing SpaceX mode with cold air thrusters and the potential to go 0 to 60 miles per hour in 1.1 seconds. We have seen zero evidence so far but that would be an insurmountable feat of speed if it was in fact true. It'll be interesting to see where that 0 to 60 miles per hour time officially lands because the Model S Plaid is currently cooking at a 0 to 60 miles per hour time of 1.99 seconds. So I suppose we can expect the new Roadster's time to land somewhere between 1.90 to 1.98. For now, the Roadster is merely a concept, and in general, Concepts change drastically during their development into production models. Per the initial debut presentation, the Roadster is actually a four-seater despite its compact supercar frame. Musk was pretty honest from the get-go, however, explaining that two small people or one larger person can probably fit back there. The new Roadster will also double as a convertible with a removable glass roof that can be stored in the EV's trunk. Given the Roadster's dramatically angled roofline, other than that, we expect to see Tesla's signature minimalist interior design repeated here. In the concept's design, a large touchscreen extends from the top of the dash all the way to the center console, with a cubby underneath it for storage. No vehicle in Tesla's lineup offers services such as Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, or Amazon Alexa compatibility. And we don't expect that to change with the Roadster. In fact, if the infotainment system in the Model 3 sedan is any indication of what we'll see in the Roadster, buyers shouldn't expect to find an radio or Sirius XM in this car. We think it likely that Tesla will provide an onboard Wi-Fi hotspot, Spotify integration, and a host of visual entertainment apps such as Netflix, Hulu, and YouTube to keep drivers entertained while parked and charging. Since the Roadster is still only a concept, the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety have not had the chance to perform crash tests. We expect Tesla will offer all its latest and greatest driver assistance technology on the Roadster, including its famous autopilot semi-autonomous driving system. 
Key safety features include Standard automated emergency braking with pedestrian detection Standard lane departure warning lane keeping assist Available adaptive cruise control with a semi-autonomous driving mode Unfortunately, Tesla has not shared those granular specs on the new Roadster yet, so we don't know how much this EV will weigh yet. The first-generation Roadster weighed 2,723 pounds, but this new version should weigh significantly more. With a similar body type to the Model S along with a tri-motor powertrain like the Plaid, we'd expect the Gen 2 Roadster to weigh in somewhere between 4,400 to 4,700 pounds. Right now, there is no customization configurator available for potential customers, so we do not yet know what sort of customizable options or add-ons will be available to up that base price even further. For an extra $50,000, customers can purchase the Founders Edition Tesla Roadster. We're not sure what's different about this model, but with only 1,000 listed as being produced, it should instantly become a collector's item. When the second-generation Roadster was initially unveiled in 2017, Tesla listed 2020 as the release timeline. We all know how that year went. Musk has said that Tesla is working on designing an upgraded production version of the original EV unveiled, but the public has not seen it yet. In January 2021, Tesla shared that the new Roadster had been delayed until 2022 for a start of production. Most recently, Tesla again came forth and revealed that the Roadster 2.0 has now been delayed to 2023 and will only hit that target if Tesla does not face any major issues due to the current supply chain shortage. As the situation sits right now, that's a big if.